hello everyone so today I'm gonna show you how to make this character uh, NVC character patrol around a given path so here you can see this character is patrolling around this white cube uh, and let's see how to do this today and as you can see here this spline defines the patrol path the character will continuous continuously uh, patrol in this given path and this episode is sponsored by this generous patron thank you very much for your support right so next part is defining a patrol path for these npc characters all right so how can we do that mm -hmm. here uh, in this third person npc character blueprint we have this spline uh, component and we use this spline component uh, for the uh, to define the projectile predicted projectile path for throwing rocks throwing stones but for the npc character it doesn't really have any use so we can reuse this component to define a patrol path for the character so right let me put some cube here make it larger like this And uh, let me change this spline type to linear oh, wait. Uh, so I'm what I'm gonna do is here I'm gonna define a path for the patrol. A curved path this also has to be linear so it is easier to manage okay all right now let's use this path defined uh, for the character for the AI controller to use as the path of uh, for controlling. So to do that, mm, mm, here, oh, this path point means the points that we use for navigation. That's not what. That's not it. So, in the begin play, where is begin play here? I'll get the spline, get point, uh, oh, we have to run a loop. Get number of a spline points. loop first index should be zero last index is this right then using these points we can get location at the spline point here i'm going to use world space and as the index i'm going to use this index and let's add these two a vector array I define patrol points this should be a vector vector array patrol points at each of these points 
Okay, yeah, let me add a read out node and collapse this part. I name it initialize patrol points. A custom event a draw. Okay, so let's call it start patrol instead of patrol. So, what this sh uh, should does is get the patrol points and get a certain point. I'll promote this to a variable current patrol point and then um, by default this should be zero this one should be zero call go to using this point here we might have a problem because acceptance radio is to radius is 200 that might be a problem here so therefore I reduce it to like 20 or maybe not 100 and uh, go to here let's have a delay of Oh, well, we can actually reuse what we have done here. Yeah. Let's collect this to a macro. Go to M. That would make things simpler. And if we want to promote this as a parameter, we can change that too. <clears throat> but two seconds should be fine. Right. By default, I'll set it to two seconds. So that I don't have to worry about the places that I have already used. Okay, I set one second. And if true, I'm gonna increment The current petrol point and oh yeah we can just increment then call this again uh, but here we have to do something so there is a chance that this might exceed the number of points so we can okay, do a modulus division here with the length of this array so that we will always get a number less than the length of this patrol points array for example if let's say the patrol point has only five elements and here it gets to 6 so 6 modulus 5 will return 1 okay right shall we test if this works
Okay, it is working. Right. If we want this to be a bit smoother, what we can do is let it. If we reduce the number of points, this should be fine. Okay, that is working. So if we want to prevent character staying in a single point, we can reduce this delay. Alright, so that part is working and I'm gonna stop this episode right here. So in the next part, I will show you how to connect this with the behavior tree and make the character patrol and if the character hears some noise by throwing a stone by player, the character will go and check it and after that he will return and continue to do the patrolling so this is that's the next part i'm gonna do and as always project files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below see you in another episode goodbye